Okay, so phosphatases come effectively in two families. There are acid phosphatases, which have pH optima somewhere around pH 4 or 5. And then there are alkaline phosphatases, which have, P, which have op, pH optima somewhere around pH 10 or 11. Now, I've been given a phosphatase enzyme, and I'm trying to do two things. First and foremost, to determine whether it's an acid or an alkaline phosphatase. And secondly, to determine precisely what its pH optimum is. So to do that, I've got a series of tubes which I'm going to set up at a variety of different pHs. So to start with here, I'm just putting water into the tubes. And now I'm going to add some buffer, which will ensure that the pH stays at the intended pH throughout the experiment. You'll see that I've actually got three tubes here, and I'm using three for each pH value that I'm going to measure. One of them is a control. In other words, I'm not going to add any enzyme to that. I will simply add water to make up the same volume. Right, so now I'm putting in the substrate that I told you about, 4-nitrophenyl phosphate. And I'm putting half a mil of that into each of these tubes. And half a mil of water into the control tube at the front to replace the enzyme that I shall then put into the other tubes. So I'm going to mix each of these tubes 